A clean coolant sump is absolutely critical to getting good performance out of water miscible cutting and grinding fluids. But a lack of attention to this area has been a common problem in shops for years. A great many problems are simply due to poor machine cleaning equipment and procedures. Coolant is usually changed when the operator complains of foul odor. This condition need never happen. The secret to avoiding problems is in keeping the machine sump clean. This sounds simple, but with traditional equipment, it is a time-consuming, messy, and unpleasant task that is often done only as a last resort. Today's equipment makes the job simple, fast, and relatively pleasant. Our yellow-bellied sump sucker can thoroughly clean a machine in a fraction of the time it used to take. Three to four hours of work can be cut down to 15 to 30 minutes. What is a yellow-bellied sump sucker? It is basically a large, powerful, liquid-solid vacuum cleaner designed to remove from the machine sump anything that will fit up its two-inch suction hose. Grinding swarf, milling chips, and properly broken turning chips will all come out of the machine sump through the suction hose. The sump sucker can then transport the dirty coolant and discharge it for recycling or disposal. And it's fast. Pumping rate is about 100 gallons per minute through a clean filter sleeve. With this kind of equipment, people can now afford to take the time to do a proper job of cleaning their machine tools. In the process of removing liquids and solids from a machine sump, the material enters the chip basket tower, the solids are retained in a filter basket in the tower, and the liquid drains through the basket material and its filter sleeve into the tank. Many of the sump cleaners we build today are divided into two compartments with an internal baffle. This provides one tank for clean coolant and one for dirty coolant. A machine of this type reduces the time necessary for a man to clean and recharge a machine and thus reduces machine downtime. Before going out to vacuum out a machine with a twin tank unit, the clean tank is filled with clean, fresh or recycled coolant. The sump sucker is transported out to the machine tool and the dirty coolant and chips are sucked into the dirty tank. The machine tool sump can then immediately be refilled with clean coolant from the other tank. The dirty coolant can then be transported back for recycling or disposal. Self-guiding basket safety wedges guide the basket out of the tower when it's hoisted for emptying. This eliminates the need for the operator to touch the basket at all as it comes out and thus avoids the risk of pinched fingers. Another unique feature is our remote safety cable release for the trap door. Once the basket is removed from the sump cleaner and swung over the receiving chip hopper, the operator simply puts one hand against the basket and with the other hand gives a yank on the safety cable release and the trap door swings open away from the operator and discharges the solids directly from the bottom of the basket into the chip hopper. These may seem like simple items, but with up to 800 pounds of chips in the basket, their simplicity can help avoid a serious accident. The chip basket is normally lined with a polypropylene filter sleeve, which gives excellent filtration after the machine has been used a few times and a cake builds up on the sleeve. The sleeve itself is replaceable. It is held in place by a holding ring, as well as the basket top gasket, and in normal service should last six weeks to three months. If a lot of very sharp, large chips must be handled, the service life will probably be close to six weeks. On grinding swarf, they can be used as long as nine months between replacements. If finer filtration is needed, there is also a disposable paper filter bag available. This makes the sump sucker ideal to use on grinders that do not have their own filters. Two or three times a week, the operator can bring the sump sucker over, vacuum out the swarf, and return filtered coolant to the sump to maintain good finish and wheel life. Competing machines are equipped with T-handle clamps to hold the basket lid down. We now use Desteco toggle clamps, which reduce the time necessary to remove and replace the basket lid by about 80%. Another convenience feature is the wheel design on our push-around models. The main supporting wheels are located at the center of the sump sucker and there are casters on each end. In this way, the unit is easy to maneuver and will turn around in its own length. With our competitor's tricycle arrangement, where the main wheels are at one end with a caster at the other, the unit turns around in twice its own length. All our push-around units are also equipped with forklift brackets as standard equipment, which enable an operator to pick up the machine with a forklift and transport it through the shop if it needs to be moved a considerable distance. 
The hard fiber reinforced plastic wheels do not compress like urethane tired wheels. This makes it easier to push a sump sucker when it's fully loaded. With urethane tired wheels, the more heavily they are loaded, the more the wheels compress, making it more difficult to push the unit. The unit here is powered by an LP gas engine. It is a Kohler cast iron block industrial engine driving a twin rotor positive displacement air pump. We make 55 to 60 percent of our units today powered by LP gas engines, the rest driven by three-phase electric motors. Obviously, an LP gas engine is more expensive than an electric motor, but because of the fact that it is independent of an outside power source, the unit has total flexibility for operation throughout the shop. If you already have welding plugs installed around so that you can operate a five horsepower, three phase electric motor, then probably an electric unit would be your better choice. If you don't have the plugs and you consider that when all costs are taken into account, the addition of welding plugs will cost in the neighborhood of $250 to $300 per plug, the little difference between an electric unit and an LP unit is rapidly offset by the installation of the plugs. Changing from suction to discharge on an LP unit is accomplished by operating a valve. On electric units, suction and discharge are controlled by push-button motor starters. If you've ever had to replace an oval manhole inspection port, you'll appreciate Master Chemical's new tank cleanout port, now standard on all yellow-bellied sump suckers. The old internal oval manhole frequently proved difficult to make leak-free after reinstallation. Our new external manhole has a thick, pliable neoprene gasket, which need only be snugged into position to prevent leaks. This will prove it's worth many, many times during the recommended once a month cleaning of the tank. The air pumps used on these sump suckers, which make them so effective, are not designed to handle liquid. So it's important that the tank not be overfilled with coolant, which would then make its way into the pump. For this reason, all yellow-bellied sump suckers are equipped with an automatic motor shutdown in the form of an electric float switch. When the liquid in the tank reaches the maximum level, the float switch rises and grounds out the engine ignition circuit on the LP models or causes the electric starter holding circuit to drop out, shutting down the motor. Since maintenance on engine-driven models is specified according to hours run, all LP units are equipped with an hour meter. A new safety and convenience feature on all current production sump suckers is the ball valve now being fitted on the suction inlet. In order to discharge coolant, earlier units required that the operator remove the suction hose and clamp a cap on the suction inlet. All models now have a two-inch diameter ball valve on the inlet. Now the suction hose can be left in place at all times, and when it's time to discharge coolant, the operator simply closes the suction inlet valve. The ball valve's design provides a full two-inch unobstructed passage in the open position. It's not only more convenient, but also avoids the possible danger of blowing off an unclamped or improperly clamped cap from the inlet during discharge. Our handles on both ends of the unit double as convenient hose racks. All yellow-bellied sump suckers are equipped with a quick open, quick close discharge nozzle so that the operator cleaning a machine can use coolant to flush the sump and get into corners to flush solids out to where they can be easily vacuumed up. Of course, these sump suckers are designed to work with Master Chemical's Zybex recycling system, so the nozzle comes off when it's time to discharge the dirty coolant into the dirty coolant tank of the Zybex system, and the hose mates directly to a fitting on the tank to speed up the discharge of coolant. Push-around sump suckers are available in 100-gallon, 175-gallon, and 275-gallon sizes in the single tank style, and in 50-50 and 100-100-gallon sizes in the twin tank style. We can also provide custom tank sizes on tow-around models and units up to 400 gallons total capacity mounted on trucks. So whatever your machine cleaning needs may be, we have a yellow-bellied sump sucker for you. From Master Chemical, the Coolant Management Company.